Hi everyone, welcome. It's relax and craft time. I'm so happy you guys are here. Thanks replay viewers. I'm happy you guys are here as well. You can feel free to share in heart still. I appreciate it a lot. I'm happy you're here. I'm gonna flip you guys around. Hey there, how are y'all doing tonight? It is Thursday evening and it is time to craft and relax. Hello, Lisa, thanks for coming on in. I'm happy to see you guys here. Uh, we are going to be working on another repair job. You know, I've been doing the, uh, uh, the life-changing magic of tidying up, right? <laughs> The, that book that everyone's reading now, right? And uh, I went through all the clothing and more and more repair clothing comes up. We've given a, a lot of a lot away, but there are a few pieces that we really love and they've just been set aside. And so now I'm actually repairing them. I'm so happy. Hello, thanks for coming in. Uh, so one of the projects is my husband's sweater. It had a big old hole in the elbow and I'm going to We've been, we've been doing some repairs on here, but it's been more of darning with weaving. So traditional darning. This time I'm going to sew a, a wool patch onto the elbows. So that's what we're doing tonight. And then uh, tomorrow and Saturday I won't be here, but I will be back again on Sunday, just for all you guys who join me every night here. And for anyone who's new, I'm uh, Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish, where we create lovely and quirky hand embroidery patterns and kits. And I am here every night at 9.30 p.m. Central crafting. It is my time to just chill in the evening and craft and just to hang out with you guys. Thanks for the share, guys. That's awesome. And uh, we just make stuff and chit chat and just enjoy our evenings. So feel free to grab a craft and, um, We'll get going. And again, I'll be back here on Sunday and we will be working on the quilt again. I think we will actually finish the quilt. I'm supposed to have the wonder clips in. Oh, hello, thanks for joining. I'm supposed to get the wonder clips in on Friday uh, tomorrow. And uh, so I'm, I'm excited to give those a try. So I'm gonna flip you guys around. Flip. Have to do it manually again. All right, there we go. Sometimes the phone doesn't always like flipping. So here is the sweater. I'm going to take you off the stand for a sec. So I've already put the patches on. Now I'll tell you how I got there, but there was a huge hole in one of these. I think it was this side. Oh, can you take us with? You know, hey, I might, maybe I will do a little check-in periscope there. <laughs> so, so if you have your uh, notifications on, uh, then when you hear the bloop bloop, then I will, um, maybe I'll do that just if we're standing in line or something tomorrow, I'll say hi to you guys. Uh, my husband's got a movie premiere that we are going to. He did the titles for it, and we're going to that at the Mall of America tomorrow. So, uh, so my husband picked this fabric. <laughs> Here's some more of it. I have, a, I have a whole bunch of wool fabric. It's this pink and black herringbone design. So I've already got it pinned onto there and I will show you how I got to there. So this again was a sweater that was sitting around forever and it just uh, was not being used because it had a giant hole. So here's how I, I did it. I just took a normal piece of paper, eight and a half by 11 and folded it in half. So I had a good edge there for the center line. And then if you see close, there's a mark here and a mark there. I actually, uh, I put it on the folded piece when it was still together like this. I marked the top and bottom of the hole. So this is how big the hole was on his shirt. And uh, then I just kind of, I just freehand drew the shape. So it was a little higher and lower than the actual hole and then cut that out. Hi, Lashonda, thanks for joining me tonight. Nice to see you. So then I unfolded it and then there you go. I, I put a little mark just so I'd uh, stay consistent with the top. And that is the patch. Then I laid, just pinned it to my fabric and then trimmed it out. So when I pinned it to the elbows, I had uh, my husband uh, wear the sweater 
and I pinned it while he was wearing it just so I could see if they were even on both sides and just to see if we liked the spot they were in uh, as well. So we are ready to start stitching. I'm going to stitch it with just uh, six strand em uh, embroidery floss, nothing fancy. Uh, I suppose there's probably a real way to do it, but I think this is just fine. And I, I just used kind of a brown color similar to this sweater color. I'm going to use my embroidery, my embroidery, here's my little go-to craft kit, my little needle case. I'm going to just use my, my embroidery, my standard embroidery needle. Got everything I need here for, to make anything. <laughs> A few scissors, got my little tie to go, some of my needles, everything's in there. My nice little glad Tupperware. This goes with me like everywhere I go. Whenever I'm starting a craft, all I need to do is grab this and I know I'll have everything I need pretty much. Some thread in there. All right, so I'm gonna just thread this. Yes, it is one of my most favorite things ever. Hello, thanks for joining, Stephanie. Alrighty, let me know what you guys are working on tonight too. It's always, that's like one of my favorite things, just kind of hearing what you guys are doing and stuff too, and that we can all be crafty together. Or even if you're just chilling, it is kind of like watching the, uh, the, uh, uh, the Yule Log on TV. <laughs> it's just relaxing watching people craft. Alright, so I'm going to roll this sleeve up a little bit just so I can get my hand underneath. I think this is the one with the hole. Oh no, this isn't the actually the one in the hole. Brushing your teeth. Nothing laying in bed watching. That sounds relaxing. Black one of a house. Oh, the, the Perry mystery quilt along. Oh, that sounds exciting. Ha, Yule Logging there. Oh, funny, Kathy. It is, uh, it is kind of mysteriously cra or relaxing. A double feature called The Back of My Eyes. Nice. <laughs> That's cute. All right, so I am not going to start with a, uh, a knot. I'm going to weave it into the back later, but I'm going to just, for the sake of not having a knot, or not having thread dangling in the back, I'm just going to put a big old stitch here just for the time being as a placeholder. So let's get this going. So I'm going to blanket stitch all around here. All right. So I'm going to come in from the back about a quarter of an inch. Eh, maybe a little bit more than a quarter of an inch away. To get going here. So all this here is going to be we woven into the back. I'm just kind of, this is a placeholder for it right now. So to start the blanket stitch, I'm going to go in right on the edge and then come back out the same hole, or just about where we just were. It's been so exciting. I mean, like, this is just so silly to say, but it is exciting for me just to have all these clothing pieces that I've been repairing, and now I can actually use it again. Last night we, uh... I I still have them here. Last night we did the repair to my gloves here. It's been repaired before. <laughs> so a few times we've repaired it, but last night we did this. So this is the typical darning when you have yarn and then you kind of weave it. You can see it better here. It's just woven. To, there's a little hole here. So I wove that in. You know, and this is uh, just using a patch instead of the... Uh, a patch instead of the weaving. All right, so now I got the one little stitch there. I'm going to go this direction. I'm going to stitch around this direction, so I'm just putting uh, my needle onto the left side here quick. So that's this is kind of how you start a blanket stitch. Okay, I'm going to roll this up a hair more. Studio C in here is my husband. He's excited because he'll actually get to wear his sweater again. <laughs> he picked out this cute fabric too, which I just love. It's just uh, this funny pink herringbone. 
All right, let's see. I could do this two ways. I think I'm going to do it. Alyssa's <laughs> hubby. So I'm going to... I'm going to stitch about a quarter of an inch, a quarter of an inch in and a quarter of an inch all the way around. So blanket stitch, I'm going from the outside in, and then I'm going to grab the loop as I go. I haven't actually done one of these in a while, so okay, yeah, that looks right. <laughs> Thought for a moment I'd be doing it a little bit backwards, but I think this will work just fine. So there I got my first little stitch and I'm gonna just keep going around. I'll probably remove the uh, needles a little bit as I go through the loop. There we go. So just blanket stitching around this is a, a bajillion times quicker than doing the, um, the weaving method. So did anyone win the Powerball last night? I didn't, I didn't hear uh, this morning if anyone actually won or not. <laughs> we were talking about that last night. We got... Uh, our tickets from the Miracle Mile in Wisconsin, uh, where I'm from. Oh, there were three big winners. Oh, yay, Susan, you won. <laughs> Andrew, I uh, I didn't get one other one number either. It was pretty bad. Wow, three people. Crazy. It's just crazy, crazy. <laughs> yay, Susan. I hope you share. So. Three people, so what does that equal out to everyone? Like $800 million or something? Something crazy, I'm sure. I heard my neighbor won $4. <laughs> Good for him. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping to win at least a buck or something. Oh, you won $2. Good job. <laughs> I suppose you don't have to share that then, Susan. I'll allow it. <laughs> uh, funny. Yeah, I didn't get one number. Not happy about that. What did you... Yeah, I was curious about that too. I mean, I've never got a lottery ticket before. And actually, I didn't even get this one. My dad got it for me and said that he bought it from the place. Oh, each 11 cents, awesome! <laughs> but I think there were also a few million dollar winners. Wow, about 500 million dollar winners? Is that... Wow, that's nuts. Well, good. At least uh, the wealth went around a little bit. He'll lose, post lose money on the postage. Yeah, that's funny. That's for sure. What a funny deal. And everyone knows like they're not gonna win, but you know, it's just the uh, fun idea. So why not participate, you know? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get rid of this pin here. All right, so we got about two inches there. So I'm gonna just keep going around and around. This is actually the one that doesn't even have the hole. It is a weakened, um, it's a weak elbow. Like it's pretty worn out. It just doesn't have a hole yet. The other one over there has a full hole going about this, uh, this much, but I didn't want just one patch. That'd be kind of silly. So I did two the exact same size. I just get a kick out of this. Uh pink herringbone fabric. I think it's it's gonna be totally silly as the patches on here. I like it. Design feature. Yes, there you go. <laughs> pink herringbone is neat. 
No, the three will get about, f oh, 500 million. There was 12, oh, one, two million winner in Florida and five, one million winners. Oh, okay. 500 million. That's a lot of millions. Has anyone come forward? Maybe next time, yep. Yeah, we'll get her next time, Kathy. That's the plan. Oops. Lost my needle there. Huh. Forgot to go through that one. I'll take a ride to Mom Paz, yeah! <laughs> well, I'll road trip to Mon Paz. Well, I'll meet there. That'd be kind of fun. Mon Paz is the gas station uh, where by uh, in my town where I grew up, where they call it the Miracle Mile now. And they, they wrote about it in uh, People Magazine uh, on their website the other day. But Miracle Mile, there's uh, several Powerballs, like $100 million to $200 million Powerballs won there. <laughs> From the same same gas station, so people trek trek down to there. <sighs> Except for that's where my Powerball ticket was from, and I got zero numbers, so I don't know. Yeah, Mom Paz on Miracle Mile. Yep, my uh, one of my teachers from school won. Uh, a hundred eleven million dollar Powerball from there. All right, so this is a little more difficult. I got my hand in here, but look, we're already you know a good quarter of the way around here. Definitely have to buy tickets there <laughs> if we're ever out that way for sure. I think another uh, company actually, or another family or something, actually bought it, but they left uh, Mon Paz in the name just because they know that it's a. Uh, a draw. The Mon Paz on Miracle Mile. <laughs> the other good thing about the Miracle Mile, it's actually Main Street, but at the end of it is the best ice cream shop in the world. <laughs> Gillies. It's, it's, we have to go there every single time we go home. It is so good. They probably took luck with them when they sold it. Well, I hope not, but yeah, I'm kind of thinking so too. So we'll all drive and we'll go to the Miracle Mile to Mon Paz and then we'll go get Gilly's ice cream. That's, that's the plan. Right there. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's actually frozen custard, um, which means it has eggs in. So if you can't have eggs, then it's no good. But it is so creamy and rich and it's not like any other ice cream. It's the best. All right, this is going pretty quick, which is awesome. We are finishing up the projects here, and I am liking that. So we'll finish this up, and uh, I don't know if we'll finish... We won't um, get to the other elbow tonight, probably. So we'll do that at another time, maybe. Or maybe I'll just finish the elbow on my own. It, it just depends. Um, but then on... Um, yes, he'll el his elbows will be warm again. Then on Sunday, we'll do this binding. And I'm, I'm pretty excited about doing the binding for the quilt. I haven't done a rolled binding before. So that'll be interesting. I don't think I'm going to even... I'm not going to do any research or anything on how to do it. It seems pretty straightforward. I think you just roll it and you sew, right? So um, I think I'll just kind of play around when I get to the corners how to do that. But I think I've seen online how to do that, like folding in the corners at a 45 degree angle. And I think, I think between uh, um, me and you guys, I think we can figure it out. <laughs> so I'm not even going to look anything up. We'll just get... Get cracking with the wonder clips and, and do it right away. Yes, exactly. We got this, Susan. Well, I'm thinking um, even if no one here knows how to do it, I think we can still figure it out by, by just looking at it. Trying a few things. 
Yes, exactly. <laughs> we can do it! Alright, I'm really hoping that I have enough thread for going all the way around here. <laughs> yep, he popped in again. I think he's he's in and out. He's, uh... Oh, no, they're coming tomorrow. I, I tracked him today, Kathy. I think they're coming tomorrow. Same as regular binding, except on the front. Oh, yeah, so I'm, I'm actually going to machine do it, too. And I don't, I've never done a machine binding, um, but I'm thinking it'll be much faster than uh, hand, hand binding, hand stitching it on. My husband's popping in and out uh, in between um, writing. He's working on a short film of his own, and he is uh, rewriting some of the beginning stuff, and he's working on script stuff tonight, so he's doing his relax and craft, too, <laughs> which is great, because we used to both uh, just work on client work till, you know, we went to bed at, like, 11 or something, and now, now with me doing this... Um, in the evenings and and everything now and now he's starting to do his kind of relax and craft time too so it's good we're doing stuff for ourselves in the evening and in, evenings instead now and that's been good we're getting used to it still i'm not used to not always working on work you know we both work from home and i think that's one of the one of the drawbacks of that maybe is that you never stop working. So we're trying to come up with ways where we actually stop working for a little bit during the day. <laughs> Instead of just waking up, going to sit at the computer right away, and then working at the computer all day and then going to bed. Which is pretty much how it was for a lot of years. So we're working on that. All right, I think that's about the halfway point. So this is going fast. That's nice. It's actually um a little easier than I thought it was going to be. It's a little weird. I'm kind of managing it with one hand here because the other hand is on the inside, making sure I don't grab any other bits. So this, in theory, is where I'd put, like, the tennis ball or something in here, or the, the darning. Oh, what is that called? That darning, um, that little wooden thing with the ball on top that's used for darning. I'm sure it has a name. Um, but that's what I would be, in theory, trying to put in here instead of my hand, but I don't have one. I'm just using the hand. Does anyone know what that's called? I'll have to find out. If I ever find one of those at a um, rummage sale or something like that, I'm going to have to get it. They're just cool, like the, those vintage ones. All right, yeah, now, I, now I'm gonna have to come out. My hand doesn't twist like that, so I'm just gonna try not to stretch this as I go. Okay, let's lose this pin. All right, so here we are so far. Zoop. You can tell it's a little bubbly, like it doesn't lay perfectly flat, and that's on purpose. I pinned it uh, to him while he was wearing it, so when he actually wears it, it'll be flat, and when he bends his elbow and stuff, they'll, it'll have give. I need three hands for this, kind of, it feels like. <laughs> Schnazzy. All right, yeah, I need a, I need a, I need a thumb on the outside, so we're gonna do that. There we go.
<laughs> Thanks, Kathy. <laughs> ah, little thumbs up thumb. Yeah, this is a another discovered piece of clothing that could still be worn. <laughs> This is actually kind of feels a lot like this one handed thing um, that I'm doing here really feels a lot like the doing those ties, the one handed ties. Oh, a darning egg. Okay, that sounds right. That totally sounds right. I think you're right, Connie. The, a darning egg. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get myself like a nice vintage darning egg. I could probably go to Etsy or something or like eBay right now and get one, but that's something that'd be fun to just find instead. Who knows? Maybe I'll find a really cute one. A darning egg. That sounds totally right. My mom said that that her mom just used a tennis ball. Oh, yeah. And those, um, I don't know, when you're getting those vintage things like that, like vintage tools that people actually used as, as tools... You have one that's about 45 years old. Oh, that's the last time that you use it. Oh, funny. But yeah, like they have a life of their own and you know that, you know, someone actually used that. I'm going to actually put this pin in sideways a little. I don't trust that quite yet. Um, and I just kind of love that they were tools used for practical purposes and you know it's nice that you can still still use them you know so I, I like that we have a, a, a few really good uh, antique shops in our area maybe I'll maybe I'll wander into one of those again sometime soon but it would be cool to find one at, at like a yard sale or something because that's where people you find the, the people that you know, aren't appreciating appreciating them like they should, and well, not all the time, but you know, sometimes like it was their moms or something like that, or don't know what it's for. Great shops in Wipe Your Lake. Oh, I should go check that out. I haven't been up there ever. I don't think actually to Wipe Your Lake. I'll have to. Um, I need to do that. Yeah, that's the other thing. Uh, so my husband and I are, are going to start just planning. You know, like I said, we are just working all the time. You know, we're going to start planning little outings and little uh, lo local, kind of local outings like that. We found amazing deals when we went for market last spring. Oh, did you go up there after um, after the Minneapolis uh, market? Is, is that what you're referring to? That was a good uh, um, quilt market uh, for me because I live, I'm local for that one. So it's so much cheaper to do. Oh, you did? Oh, cool. Did you drive? Uh, did you drive um, instead of flying to get to the show? Because that'd be a bear to have to ship home a bunch of stuff. All right. Losing this guy. Oh, I was on boothcation. Yeah, exactly. That's what, you know, we've started to do that too. We, uh, oh, you flew. Yeah, we did, uh, where did we do boothcation? Oh, in, um, in Portland. When we did the Portland Spring Show a couple of years ago, we, um, we went a day early and stayed a couple days late and we got to go see, you know, we got to just hang out in Portland Getting away together is awesome. Yeah, I, LaShonda, I want to, um, we want to just start doing more little weekend road trips and, you know, and flying to cool places and that sort of thing too, but taking more time just to be together and not working. I'm not going to Salt Lake City. Are you, Susan? I'm kind of, um, I've kind of decided to take a little break from the quilt, from the trade shows for a little while. Oh, you are? We went to the last one. 
Actually, I think it was the last one where um, their ceiling kind of caved in when we were there and people's booths were getting wet and ours was fine, but it was a big issue for people. But no, we're not going to that one. Are you doing the booth and everything again for that or just going? Oh, that's awesome. That's pretty exciting. So are you already um, in a like total quilt market mode, getting getting everything ready for it and, and all that? Oh, that's like months, um, months of work prepping for all that stuff. We are almost all the way around here, guys. I might actually, what time is it? Let's see. I might get going another one. Oh, waiting for sample yardage. Yeah, that's always the trick. <laughs> so when I get, get sample yardage, I sometimes I only get it like a day before quilt market for one. And second, I only get, I don't really get sample yardage. I get a few strike offs to play with and the strike offs are, you know, less than a fat eighth. Oh yeah, I am I'm not going this time. Yeah, that would have been awesome, Susan. You know, I I I started doing um all of the quilt markets. So I would I'd go in um spring and fall. And then I switched to just doing the spring one and now now I'm not sure what I'm doing anymore. I get 5 yards per print about well, that's a ton. That is like oodles 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 way more than than I get. Well, that's cool that you know that, so you can actually plan a pattern or, or something around it. That's pretty good. What uh, fabric company are you with? All right, about two more stitches here and then we're done. Oh, Michael Miller, oh, that's awesome. They seem super great and they're, um. Their fabric's always so beautiful. Well, that's good to hear. So are you doing a booth with them or is it your own booth? Oops, I almost went the wrong way there. Ooh, I'm like totally off screen. There we go. Oh yes, please do. I wanna see a scope from the booth. Oh, you'll be with them. Oh, that's cool. That probably, Saves a bunch of money too. <laughs> I'm totally in money land when I think of quilt market. It's so, it's such a big expense. But it's also really, really good. You get to see everyone and talk to people and make new connections and stuff. <clears throat> All right, we are done. So I'm gonna just put the thread in the back and uh, I'm gonna flip this kind of inside out. So, um, I can weave it in. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so that guy's on there. And it's just on with a blanket stitch. So, I mean, this will fray a little bit, but it's still going to be just fine. All right. So I'm going to just weave in the ends back and forth a little bit, kind of like how we do with all the embroideries. I'm just going to grab some yarn. And I know all of this on the inside of this line is covered by my patch. So... If I go a little bit out, it's going to be fine. You're not going to see it. So I'm just grabbing a bunch of... Brunch of... Um, I think I missed that last comment. I think I just saw a comment fading. I don't know. So you can say it again if you want. If it was a question. All right. So that's all I'm going to do. Just weave it back and forth three times. And oh, I don't have my little scissors out, but I got my awesome huge Kai scissors, which... ugh. I love my scissors, man, and I should do a scope once and just lay out all my scissors. I'm I'm positive that most quilters have way more scissors than me, but I do like this one a whole lot. It's just, like, listen to that. It's like nothing. It's just buttery. Cuts through everything. It's so beautiful. I was just being silly as usual. No piggy, yo. <laughs> I like, I, I, I don't like when I miss the sillies, though. You have three beside you now. Yes, exactly. <laughs> gotta love, gotta love the scissorses. Scissorses, I don't think that's a word. 
Scissors. I guess scissors is the plural of scissors, isn't it? I'm gonna say scissors is. <laughs> it's more fun. Scissor eye, there you go. S sorry. <laughs> Uh, I'm watching all the Game of Thrones again, and that sounded like a name that the Game of Thrones should have. I keep getting new ones, well, nothing wrong with that, LaShonda. <laughs> uh, all right. Snip, and this guy is done. So yeah, so this this is the one that doesn't have any any hole in, but it was getting a lot weaker. There's so many good ones out there. I think I'm, I'm gonna actually start selling them in my store to little, um, cute little embroidery scissors. So here we go! One patch done! Yay! So I might actually get started on this second one. Um, let's see if I can maybe show you the giant hole in this one. I don't know if I can... I better not. I'm afraid that I'm gonna lose all my pins, but I will, um, I'll show you when we're done. Yeah, 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 I know, I don't, I don't wanna, um, I don't wanna stab myself, which is what I tend to do. <laughs> Stitch till you freeze, that's exactly what's happening here, Kathy. <laughs> we're getting there too, I think. Let's see, 10.06, I think I started at 9.30 or so, so I don't know. Sometimes it's 30 minutes, sometimes it's 50 minutes, but it's not much beyond that. <laughs> It's kind of a big bummer. But yeah, that's still on my list to, uh, I need to contact the, the Verizon store here. I think where I got it. I don't know what they'll do. I don't know. All those places are just, they don't know anything or do anything and it's just no fun. Um, and there seem to be nothing online except for people just telling other people like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. It's not really overheating, you know? Well, when a, when a when a window pops up and says we're cooling it off because you're overheating, I'm thinking that's the phone telling me that it's overheating. So, whatever people. I'm not sure if they have actual support, so I suppose I could check on that. All right, I'm going to do that little kind of starter stitch thing again just so just so I can see where my Red ends here. This is almost like the way knot, actually. Actually, it's exactly like the way knot. I'm just not making a knot. I'm just kind of letting it hang. You can actually do a blanket stitch by um, starting on the inside and going out, too, but I think I'm, I'm getting a little bit more... Oh, I did that a little bit differently than I wanted to. Yeah, I'm gonna just leave it. Um, I think you have more control going out to in, and we already have tons of knots here. Oh, look, I lost my way knot already. Oh well, we'll just leave it there. It'll be good to get this started. Stitch till we, stitch till we freeze. <laughs> that should be my new uh, tagline for this. This is the stitch till we freeze show. That'd work, right? Or overheat, actually. Yes, we we freeze and overheat at the same time. Exactly. You guys freeze. I overheat. <laughs> All right, out of here, pin. All right, elbow number two. I do actually have a, some socks and a, some more mittens to darn too, so there is more darning to happen if I get to it. All right, I gotta take care of this knot. I just, I don't have a knot, it's just really, um, Kind of, uh, I should have maybe let it dangle out a little bit to unwind itself a little. It's gonna not be friendly with me. 
But we'll work through it. I think once we get going, it'll be just fine. Who knows, maybe I'll finish this before we freeze. Wouldn't that be something? That'd be kind of cool. Maybe I can go a little faster. But it's being a little goofy with that, uh, how twisty it is this time. I know, to get it, get something done before we freeze, that'd be good. I think what I did is I did, uh, oh, <laughs> thanks, Lashana. I think, um, I just did more thread than I did last time. Actually, I'm going to let it dangle here for a little bit, see if that helps just to the side of me here. Untwisting it a little bit there. Okay. We'll see if that helped. Kind of like just doing this with this brown thread. I think it's a little more subtle. Are you keeping a list of all the things we're accomplishing? I am. I haven't, but I'm going to. Um, I'm going to start. I'm actually going to start a Pinterest board. I think of all the projects um, for 2016. And right now, it's really. Well, actually, now I can add those gloves, those mittens to it as well. Um, but I think right now it's just the, um, just the, that craft with me embroidery <laughs> is really the only thing done. And now the, um, now the, uh, these guys too, but soon we'll have more, you know, technically that star quilt, but that was kind of, that didn't turn out yet. So that needs some work to be finished. And then um, the the quilt that we'll finish on Sunday, so that'll be done then too. So really we only have two, just the mittens and the craft with me embroidery actually done, but we're gonna crank out other ones pretty quickly here. But yeah, so I think I'm gonna do, so I'm on Pinterest, I'm penguin and fish. I'm penguin and fish everywhere. Uh, so I started actually uh, 2016 books that I've read and I'm gonna do the same thing with um, with projects and and you know you'll have seen all of those projects because i'm gonna do them all here most likely <laughs> since this is kind of my time to to do all those projects uh so so you'll see them but yeah i think i'm gonna take i'm gonna try and take like some nice photos of the things that i finish and um just do a record the there because I'm, I'm kind of bummed that i haven't done that before um my mom actually started taking photos of the quilts she's done and she's putting together like a little you know document of them really and uh I'd like to start doing that too I mean you know what I mean it's just if anything a good thing to look at at the end of the year just to remind yourself that oh yeah I did do something <laughs> that year you know what I mean so that's kind of the goal but yeah, so I'll, I'll let you know when, when that's up. I just needed, I haven't taken a photo of the craft with me embroidery yet, uh, finished. So as soon as I do that, I will uh, start that board up. But I'll let, let you know, otherwise it'll, it'll be on um, my penguin and fish Pinterest. It's a great idea doing crafts here, setting the time aside. Oh, thanks Lashonda. Yeah, I mean, like I've been saying, it, it's doing, making the commitment to do this every night here. I mean, I've finished more crafts and done more crafting, put time aside for crafting more in, you know, since I started on Periscope here for a couple months, then I probably have been crafting in years. So, I mean, which is crazy, right? So, I mean, I am really, really, really excited. I mean, I would never... I would never put time aside to do something like this. You know what I mean? But now um, I know I can, you know? And I know that other stuff will get done too and it's all going to be just just fine. So I'm, I'm really happy about it. Oh, hello, Cora. Welcome. <laughs> All right. 
Alrighty. Out oh, running around. Yeah, Cora, we finished the other elbow and we're doing um doing this elbow now. Alright, we're almost a quarter away. We're stitching till we freeze. Or heat up. <laughs> oh thanks, Cora. It's for my husband's sweater. Uh when we cleaned out the closet doing the uh life-changing magic of the closet. We, uh, we discovered this sweater that was no longer being worn because it had a huge hole on, on this side. So we're finally making it wearable again. And my husband picked out this, uh, this color wool for the patches, which I think is cute. Cute little pink hair mode. Yep, they're elbow patches. So we did